Today's video is all about helping you with your neck pain and your headaches. We're going to be reviewing the neck cloud, this little thing here. We're also going to be comparing it to one we recommend all the time for neck pain relief, which is going to be the rolled up towel, as well as a more specialist device, the Denerol. We're gonna go through all of three of these. They are very similar, but they work in different ways. Compare which one's gonna be best, the pros and cons of each one, and also how they're actually gonna be helping your neck pain or headaches. Let's get into the video today. When it comes to many of the videos that you see on neck pain, most of them are going to be talking about doing relieving exercises like the chin tuck, which is drawing the chin towards the chest, pulling the neck over in this direction, all these sorts of activities that round and bend the neck further into a forward flex position. Now, we'll get into this a little bit later on, but this is not ideal at all when it comes to neck pain. We're just reinforcing the thing that invariably caused the problem, caused the neck pain, caused the headaches in the first place, and it's not helpful, even if it feels temporarily or moment to moment relieving whilst you're doing it. And this is where things like the neck cloud and the towel and the denerol can really, really help by putting your neck in the right position instead of that incorrect one. Later on in this video, I'm actually going to demonstrate how you use this and the other devices we mentioned. But the very first and foremost thing is on a principled level, understanding that the way in which we relieve this neck pain, relieve these headaches, is by unloading the spine. A lot of us will have problems with the way in which we are using our neck on a daily basis. We will be putting compression whilst we're looking on our smartphones, spending hours and hours every day in that position. And what this does is it squashes down on those intervertebral discs in the neck. It also stretches out the muscles all along the back here. This is the sort of the mechanistic action that's taking place to result in your neck pain. And therefore more of that, more aggressively, through exercises like pulling the chin towards the chest or tucking the chin in like so and elongating the neck, are not sensible, they make no sense. When we're using something like the neck cloud, we have our neck arched back over this fulcrum. It's in the neck in this position here, providing a support for that neck, tilting your chin up slightly, supporting through the neck with a forward bend, with a forward pressure point. And that puts your discs in a position of relative stretch. It opens out the discs on the front and it actually gets the muscles that are on the back here to get a bit of relaxation. Instead of being pulled apart all the time, as the chin tilt tilts up and tilts backwards, those muscles get to relax for maybe the first time in a little while. We've mentioned a couple times already that it's the forward bending movements looking down towards the floor that sort of builds up these issues in the first place. But there are some circumstances, say you're painting ceilings, doing stuff up here, or you're doing things high up, looking up for extended periods. That too can create trouble. You might be thinking, okay, well, why would we do the neck, uh, neck cloud or do some of these neck exercises where we're restoring the curve in those scenarios? Well, for a lot of us, unfortunately, most of our time, even if that particular accident, that particular event was looking up, most of our time is still spent looking down and our neck should have a nice backward bending c-shaped curve to it and unfortunately repetitively doing those sorts of activities can sometimes disrupt this curve and mean it doesn't move properly so a nice quick simple test that you can do to see if it is maybe that your neck's not aligned properly and that when you were looking up you actually jarred some of those joints is to get a rolled up towel and I'll grab one right now so I've just got a normal little towel here, and what I'm gonna do is just roll up the edges. So I've just got a little fulcrum here. Now, what you could do, a very, very quick test, just if your neck pain was caused by looking up, maybe you even get aggravated neck pain by looking up, is look up very, very slowly and see when the pain bites, when the pain kicks in. Now, get that little edge of the towel and just place it just in the middle portion of your neck and gently pull forwards. So you can feel the pressure on the back of your neck just in that direction now, I'm not pulling too hard. And now with that full pressure on, just gently look up again. And what you'll find if you adjust the position slightly up or slightly down and retest, you'll find you can go a little bit further before the pain kicks in. Now it's not gonna get rid of the pain, but it's going to demonstrate that maybe that alignment in your neck wasn't as good as it should be. And by looking up for extended periods, you've jarred some of the joints there. So what we're doing, Going back to the, these devices that you can put in the back of your neck, the neck cloud, denerol, the towel, all this rolled up differently, is that you can support that natural neck curve rather than having those joints jarred. And what you will find is by doing this over a couple of days for that two, three, four, five minutes maximum, on and off a couple of times a day, you'll find that it starts to get that neck moving properly again so that neck is bending correctly as you look up rather than jarring and straining some of those joints. 
It's not just looking up, it goes for other movements as well, but it is particularly looking up that aggravates people when they have neck pain, especially if they have any sort of curved disruptances. And by doing these specific activities on a daily basis, you can start to just put that neck back into a better position so it starts to function more normally. So like with anything, it's really, really important that you do this correctly. Whichever one of these three devices you're using, it's really, really vital that you get on correctly, that you get off correctly, and that you have it in the right position. I'm gonna show you now on the floor with the towel, the neck cloud, and the general how to use these things, and then we'll maybe go through a few of the extra little bits, the comparisons between those after we've done that. So I'm gonna start off using the towel and just demonstrate how to use each one of these. So naturally when you're in this position, you wouldn't spend ages with your head up. That's not gonna help your neck pain, but uh, I'm gonna do that for the purposes of this de demonstration. I've rolled the towel around about this large, and all I'm gonna do is simply roll it down until it hits my shoulders and then simply lie my head back over. Now, the big thing that you're going to notice with the towel is that my head is actually still touching the floor. We want to get the size of the towel large enough so it's providing a bit of upward pressure into the middle of the back of my neck, and then we just simply relax here. With all of these, when it comes to getting off, we must hold our heads nice and tight and twist over towards the side without twisting the neck. It's very, very important, whichever one of these devices you're using, that you do not simply lift your head up and pull it out. That is going to create an awful lot of, of discomfort and it's fundamentally undermining the whole two, three, four, five minutes you've spent doing the exercise. So we've done the towel. Every single one of you watching this video, if, whether you've got this or not, will be able to do the towel. Then it comes to the neck cloud. Fundamentally, this is exactly the same. We're gonna put it flat on its back and we're gonna have our neck supported by this middle curve here. It's got these little bits on here, don't worry too much about those, but it, you're just gonna support the neck curve. So, same thing again, slide this a little bit lower because the towel couldn't go that low. This will slide to support my shoulders down here a little bit more. So again, in position, lift up a little bit and then lie back over. And you can see in this one here, it's really only my hair that's actually touching the floor. Square yourself off to make sure you're there and then you can relax again with this one. We're going to brace and roll off to the side in order to get off this correctly. So, then we have the dental roll here, and this one is a little bit, you can see it's a little bit more sharp with its, with its attachment cycle, with its fulcrum point, and I'll explain a little bit more about this, why, why it is later. And here, again, for me, I like a low placement with this one, so lower down, and then we lie back over in this one here, and then relax. Exactly the same, again, I can't stress this point enough, whichever one of these devices you're doing, we always dismount correctly, we brace our head, roll to the side, so our spine does not twist at all. If you twist your spine here, it's going to be unpleasant, you're not gonna like it. So when you're using any of these devices, typically speaking, if you're in a lot of pain with your neck, then you might find that 20 seconds or so is all that you can manage to start with. But quite often, once you get past that 20 seconds, you'll be able to relax into the position a little bit more. Now, nine times out of 10, those of you watching this video are going to be using either the neck cloud or the rolled up towel. And it's important to bear in mind that these actually are really, really good care of self, i.e. you know you're doing things on a daily basis that are not ideal for your neck. You're spending ages on the smartphone and you're spending ages on the computer, etc 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 so using these devices when you don't have significant neck pain when you're not stuck like a robot like i know i've been in the past and you probably have too when you're not in that position these are really really good because they're painless they're so easy and they're relieving you can feel the muscle on the front of the neck finally getting a chance to stretch out when you use them when you've just had a flare-up when things are really really bad you can hardly move getting onto them can be uncomfortable in fact it is uncomfortable nine times out of ten so you do have to be careful when you're doing that and there's lots of reasons why that is and maybe we'll have another video uh, to explains just like in the lower back when you straighten your neck back up to its right position, to its backward bending curve, rather than rounded over, why when we've got a lot of inflammation in that area, it can aggravate things further. So getting on the neck cloud in those times can be a little bit more challenging and that's understandable and normal. You might be wondering what on earth is that Denerol thing that we did, the third one that we demonstrated, and that is more used in clinic in combination with a full x-ray understanding. You'll have noticed that compared to the neck cloud, it had a much di more direct fulcrum. It's a lot more pointy in its application. As you can see just here, this fixates around one or two vertebra, allowing you to focus that backward bending to a specific segment, and that's often guided by x-rays. Now. The thing I wanna mention here is that if you're using something like this at home, you're not clear, you're not guided by those x-rays, you're not going to necessarily be doing it in the right place, and that is very, very important, unless you've been guided, of course. 
And if we've got any specific misalignments in our neck that are more uh, nuanced, then using something like that can be not very good for you at home. When we think about something like the neck cloud or the towel, the reasons that we advocate those for members and for you guys watching this video is because you can notice that this is a broad applicator. It's not direct enough to work about one or two vertebra. It's going to support the vertebral column. And it's that generality, but specific to the cervical spine, that allows you to do this with a lot more peace of mind at home. It's a lot more gentle, but I will say from personal experience, having used both of them, this does give you a nicer support than the towel can, just because it's a little bit higher off the ground and it's a little bit more firm, but it does have that little bit of give in it. So I do think if you're someone who wants to get this sort of thing, you have maybe a job or an occupation or activities on a daily basis that do bother your neck and you do spend a lot of time in this position, try using something like this because they really do support the neck curve correctly and they make sense with regards to what it is doing and how it is improving your neck mechanics. Of course, that can't be done without adding in some element of rehabilitative exercises if you need those but I will say it is a pretty great alternative to the towel and it's really not that expensive. To be, if I'm gonna try and be with all these things as critical as I possibly can, the only thing I would say about this that is a little bit of a uh, downside, if you will, is these are quite flared off to the side and the first couple of times you're gonna use it, rolling off to the side isn't quite as easy as the general or the towel just because they get in the way a little bit, but that is pretty much it. And remember, Every single one of us watching this video will have a towel at home. If you wanna start off, then roll that towel, adjust and play around with the size of that towel. Please only do a maximum of five minutes at any one time, but you can do that more frequently during the day. And if you find, hey, I like this towel, I'd like to try something like this, then it is a pretty good alternative and they really aren't that expensive. You can get them off Amazon or you can get them, I assume, from the, direct from the manufacturer, but we got this off Amazon. As I was doing this video, Lara said, you've got to mention this at the very end, and that is, if it wasn't obvious with my placement during the exercise itself, the placement of this is important. We want to get below our ears and above our shoulders in this section here. We should not be having it on the back of our head. I have seen in clinical practice, unfortunately, sometimes people popping it all the way up here, sort of pushing their head forwards and, and, and propping your head up like you would a pillow in bed to read, which is just a problem in of itself. So please make sure if you're not 100%, rewind the video and go and just check that placement. You will see that my chin was pointing up a little bit. It was clearly in the middle of the neck and it was supporting that natural curve, not tipping my head forwards. So hopefully you found this video helpful. We're always looking to put these things together so they can give you value and help you better understand how to use some of these devices because we know from previous experience, like our back stretch video, which we'll put a link to up here, that sometimes the manufacturers aren't quite as clear with the guidance and that means that you don't necessarily get the best out of it. So hopefully this has been really helpful. Remember, you can always like our videos if you do find them helpful. If you've got any questions that we didn't cover in this and you're still not sure, then post it in the comments below. And remember, you can always subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all of the latest videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in another video.